today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit your controls on your Garmin Instinct Solar Watch. This is the first generation of Garmin Instinct, so we have to do all of these settings on the watch. If you have the Instinct 2 or later, you could also do these settings on your Garmin Connect app. What are we talking about when we talk about controls? From your main watch face, if you press and hold this top left button, it will take you to what's called your controls wheel. Basically, it's just shortcuts to different things on the watch. So you can see in my example, I have power off. This is the one control that we can't change. This one always has to stay in your control wheel. But I also have battery saver, my backlight control, do not disturb, so on and so forth. What if we wanna change the things that are in here? How would we do that? That's what we're gonna be looking at today. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the back button, get back to the main watch face. We're gonna start by pressing and holding the menu button. It's the middle button on the left-hand side of the watch. That will take us into our menu. Now I'm gonna use the up or down button. We're gonna go down to settings, press the GPS button to get to settings, and then we're gonna use the up or down button again. We're gonna go down to controls. Again, I'm gonna press the GPS button to choose controls, and you're basically gonna see a listing of the same items that we just saw in our control wheel. There's power off, there's battery saver, there's backlight. This is where you would go to control these. So if I wanted to remove one of those things while I'm on the given value, I would press the GPS button and I've got some options here. I could reorder it. So maybe I wanted to move it up or down in my listing. That would be reorder or I could go down and remove it completely. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and remove do not disturb. You'll notice it is now gone. I'm going to go down to sunrise and sunset. Let's say I wanted to move this right behind power off. I could press GPS and I could choose reorder and it basically shows where it is on my listing, I can just simply put it where I want, press the GPS button, and now I've reordered it. So let's go back and we can see, now I've got power off, now I've got sunrise and sunset. What if I wanted to add something that's not here? We can go to the bottom of the list. You can either go to the bottom or from the top. You can just press the up button and you'll see an option for add new can press GPS and we can add a new value. I'm going to show you all of the other things that are in here. Now remember, this is just controls. There's other ways to get to things on this watch. For example, you could set a hotkey, you could add widgets, but this is just kind of a quick way to get to something. Let's say I want to add moon phase on a given value you want. Press GPS and it says controls added. It's still in the add option. So I can go ahead and press the back button, and now I've got moon face. It automatically puts it at the bottom of my list, so if I wanted to move it, again, we would press GPS and we would do reorder. But it's pretty simple stuff. Once you're done, simply press the back button a couple times, get you back to your main watch face. Now if I go into my controls, we can see I've got sunrise and sunset right behind power off, and then the last option I just added was the moon phase, and I removed do not disturb. So that's how you edit your control menu. I hope the video helped.